Hi, my name is Endo, and I learned to pick horses feet out by watching that girl on Expert Village. Today I'm just going to talk a little bit about insecure horses. Um, as you can see, this horse, he doesn't mind me picking his feet out. I'm going to get the farrier to pick his feet out in a minute. I just want you to watch the, the change in character with him. Okay, I've had the horse for about a week now, so I made a little bit of groundwork with him. I'm going to get the hoof, hoof pick to the farrier. Uh, he's going to switch his, his defense to Defcon 2. The farrier is now a predator. He doesn't know him. He's on high alert. He doesn't want the farrier to get near him. I say it's Defcon 2 because it only gets one worse than that, which is Defcon 1, which would be he'd be attacking the farrier with his front feet to keep him away. Uh, be lunging forward and cow kicking, trying to get him with the, his back legs as well. This horse, God liked this because its mare died when it was a foal. and had to look after itself, rely on natural instincts to stay safe. It doesn't trust humans. Didn't trust other horses. Um, which is pretty sad, going through life like that, not trusting anyone. So you've really got a feel for the horse. Um, it's not his fault. Uh, I know he's had a hard life, but partial blame goes to the, the breeder for not doing more to handle him. Uh, from what I hear, they led him to the paddock, let him go, bring him back into the barn uh, for feeding. Took him to the paddock again, they just basically led him back and forward and that was it, they didn't handle him. Uh, now they want to turn him into a racehorse. As you can see, I've got a big job ahead of me. Uh, I'm pretty confident once once I get him riding uh, and change his outlook on life, he, he should come around. Okay, the biggest hurdle I have to face is probably when he goes. He's going to go down a training centre to strangers. They're all going to be predators again. He's going to carry on like this. Uh, more than likely, they're going to say he's a waste of time. He's going to get someone hurt. And that'll be the end of it. So what I'll do is try and leave him here as long as I can. Uh, as he gets a little bit more settled, just try and bring as many people in as I can, different faces for him to see. Uh, people that, that will pat him and get his trust up a little bit. Okay, apart from being a bit of a fruitcake now, uh, he's very balanced. You can't see from the front, but sideways he's a very nice horse. Uh, with this insecurity problem, there's only two ways it can go. There's no really in between. He's either going to be very fast and run like the wind, uh, or very slow and not run at all. Uh, but I can't see why he shouldn't be able to run. All he's got to do is, is harness that fear in him uh, and channel it through his legs. Uh, I think he could, he could become a nice racehorse. I just hope when he does leave and goes to the race course, they give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, and give him a chance to prove himself. And I'll see you guys again soon.